Hi. The brown nosing, in particular as regards all forms of media, grovel fest, has lived up to the expectations of those who debase themselves before that grotesque institution, the British monarchy. The crowds who filled the mall were in a semi-orgasmic state, their deeply repressed conservative backward personalities subsumed in a mass feudal mentality. Next day, the entire establishment, in all their finery, gathered under the roof of St. Paul's, smug, securing their privileges, wealth, power. If there was ever a case for a mini-nuke, and this was it. We're only halfway through this slavish genuflecting, not only before the Queen, but the entire extended brood, down to the toe-curly drooling over the young princes and princesses. The monarchy has a definite psychological grip over a substantial section of the population, with some even believing they have a genuine connection with the Queen, despite never even meeting her in person. Some of this is undoubtedly mystical in orientation. Also mystifying for us anarcho malcontents. We see it, but we can't really explain why this medieval garbage has persisted and why there's such an enthusiasm for this reactionary, archaic institution and the vile reptilian royal family, particularly in this time of increasing poverty, political disillusionment, the creeping state authoritarianism, and the rich doubling their wealth during the COVID pandemic. Watching terrestrial news has been a real pain. Even stepping out onto the streets here in the centre of London has been a nightmare. They're rammed with moronic Union Jack, carrying zombified groups, wallowing joyfully in their subordination, celebrating something they know nothing about. They should try checking out, for example, the amazing amount of inbreeding in this exalted family, the special ones, locked away in cottages from public gaze on the numerous royal estates that we pay for. Bye.